Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast and in this screencast I want to show you how you can install Lubuntu 10.10 .10 from the desktop Live CD. So if you insert your desktop Live CD this will be the first screen that you will see. You have the option to choose a language. So I will choose English here and then I can see the boot menu. If I want to try any special boot parameters I can get help with F1 that allows me to see some special boot parameters in a list and I can set some special boot par parameters either by pressing F3 for changing the key map so I'm sitting in front of a German keyboard here so I will choose Germany as key map here then with F4 I have some special boot options like setting the safe graphics mode. This is especially useful if you have problems booting up in the graphical user interface. Then I also have the option to use a driver update disk if I have some or perform an OEM installation. With F5 I have some accessibility options like setting high contrast, enabling magnifier, screen reader, braille terminal, keyboard modifiers or the on-screen keyboard. With F6 I can enable special boot parameters. Here are some popular special boot parameters in this option list. As you can see ACPI off it's normally a boot option. If you have some power management problem you might want to enable this one. No epic, no lepic, add on, no DM rate and no mode set. No mode set is especially useful if you want to try and install the proprietary NVIDIA driver. And F6 also enabled the command line which allows you to set and change the boot parameters for the different um, options in the menu. As you can see while I'm browsing through the menu items the boot options are changing. So I will try Lubuntu without installing because this is the first boot option and normally everyone wants to try something out before installing the software. So with Lubuntu you have the option to do so. So let's boot up Lubuntu 10.10. .10. This will boot up the live system from the CD so no changes are made. Your hard drive is not or will not be touched until you say so. And as you can see I'm now booting up without the splash screen because the splash screen in this uh, virtual box environment I'm running now um, seems to be a little bit odd. And the live CD will boot up and will present you a fully running Lubuntu system from the live CD. Of course it's not the same speed as you would expect it on a hard drive installation because your CD drive is a little bit slower than your hard drive. So it's only for testing out the applications, uh, some of the default applications that Lubuntu 10.10 .10 ships with. And as you can see here we booted finally up with the Lubuntu 10.10 .10 desktop and yeah we can easily browse through some of the uh, applications in the start menu, uh, see some games, play some games, uh, even browse in the internet if you have internet connection and uh, do some other fancy stuff to try out the system. If you want to install Lubuntu 10.10 .10, there's an installation icon on the desktop du just double click it to open up the installation process but be aware before installing making a backup of your already installed system of your important data on your hard drive so that you won't lost anything if you do something wrong for example. So this is the installer. It first asks you which language do you want to install in. So I will choose English here. Click on forward and it then will show me a list of what I need to have. First of all, 3.2 gigabytes of free disk space available. Then I need to have a plugged in power source because on a laptop without uh, a plugged in power source it might get ru uh, run out of power. And an internet connection if I want to download updates while installing or download third party software like uh, Adobe Flash Player, MP3 codec and some other stuff. So I will stick to the default settings here, click on forward and then the 
preparation for your hard disk partitioning scheme is loading up and you have the option to install alongside another operating system so if you have already a Windows system for example you can easily install Ubuntu alongside with your Windows system and then when booting up choosing which one you want to boot up. You have the option to erase and use the entire disk and you have the option to specify partitions manually with the advanced uh, partitioning tool. So I will show you the advanced partitioning tool for a second here. So you get a feeling how this will look like. So as you can see here on the top you see the partitioning scheme layout. So I have two partitions. The one in green is the bigger one and the uh, one in orange is the smaller one here and those two are also here in my list and if I click on one of those I have the option to delete or to change the partition. Here I can set a new um, partition size if I want to. I can use the partition so if I have already a Linux partition on my hard drive I can make use of it without deleting files. Then I have also the option to set a bootloader which is also very important for those ones of you who do not boot from the, your first hard drive but from the second for example and want the bootloader to install to the second hard drive. It's also useful if you want to change from master boot record to the root directory of your partition. So these are the special boot options that and the special f formatting options that Lubuntu 10.10 10, the installer ubiquity allows you to change and do. I will go back and will stick with the erase and use entire disk as I'm running here from a virtual box and in virtual drive. Click on forward. You will get a summary of what will be done now. So as you can see there's a nice logo of Lubuntu. Lubuntu will be installed on your first hard drive on the only one I have here with 5.4 gigabytes. Uh, two partitions will be deleted and I can use the advanced partitioning tool for more control if I want to change something. It will go back to the uh, advanced installation partitioning tool that you saw earlier. I can now click on install now and it will start installing, formatting first of all the partitions and delete of course the two partitions that are unnecessary and it will show you a nice progress bar on the bottom and on the top it will then load up some configuration that you can do while or during installation. So first of all it's asking me for a time zone. As I'm sitting here in Cologne, Germany, uh, the time zone Berlin and uh, the time is alright. So I will click on forward and it will then ask me for a keyboard layout. It will automatically will choose the one that I chosen uh, during the boot process and I can set the uh, one here eliminate dead keys the one that I want or I can figure out my keyboard layout which is also a very nice feature if you don't know which of those many layouts that are available in, in uh, for the different languages uh, is the one that you want just click on figure out keyboard layout and it will ask you some simple questions like press one of the following keys, so I will press Y here. Is the following key present on your keyboard? Is This is the, by the way the uh, Ö. <laughs> so yes it is there. I will press the, the Ö key here. Is the following? No, the following is not present. So as you can see it shows the German eliminated date dead keys. So I already did this, so I knew which to choose. I can click on forward and it will then ask me to set of course an account, a user account for my new installing system. I can type in my name. As you can see it will fill out automatically your computer's uh, name. It figured out that I'm running in a virtual box and adds the virtual box uh, name here. It picked a username for me, that's okay. And I will I have to think for fairly password. So I will think out a password. Enter it twice so that it is recognized. Then I can set if I want to log in automatically. Require my password to log in. 
and or encrypt my home folder. So I will enable auto login here because this is the one that I want to. I click on forward and this is basically everything that you need to do for the installation process. As you can see we have almost half of the installation done already and now it's starting a slideshow up which will give you an information on the changes on the applications that Lubuntu 10.10 .10 ships with. If you find this boring you can of course play one of the newly installed games that are shipping with uh, Lubuntu 10.10 .10, like for example Solitaire if you want to and during the installation you can play a game. This is very very nice as I think. So as you can see nice animations here. Uh, let me play this. Uh, not the best one in Solitaire but I think I can somehow win this game. At least until the installation is finished. <laughs> So this is basically the installation process of Lubuntu 10.10 .10, and this is basically everything for this screencast. When the installation is done you will get a short notice that the installation is finished and you have then the option to either test the system out in the live mode or reboot your computer to boot up the newly installed Lubuntu 10.10 .10 system. So I hope you enjoyed this screencast and until the next time.